Hi everyone, it's Albert. Today let's solve the median question from the weekly contest, Stone Game 7. The question statement, so we have two players, Alice and Bob, they take turns in playing the game, and with Alice playing first. And there are N stones arranged in a row, and on each uh, player's round, they can remove either the leftmost or rightmost stone from a row, and receive the points equal to the sum of the re remaining stones value in the row. And the winner is the one with the higher score where there are no uh, stones left to remove. And for some reason, Bob found that he will always lose the game. So he decided to minimize the score's difference. So Alice's goal is to maximize uh, the difference in the score as big as possible. And we are given an integer array stones where stones i represents the value of the i stone. And we have to return the score difference in Alice and Bob if they both play optimally. For example one, Alice will remove the rightmost stone uh, two and gets 13 points. In the next round, Bob will remove the leftmost stone five and then get eight points. And next round, Alice will remove three and then Bob will remove one. And at the end, the score difference between Alice and Bob is 18 minus 12, which is six. And for example two, with this uh, integer array, the output will be 122. And a data constraint, the length of the array can go up to uh, 1000. The key intuition to solve this question the main algorithm we'll use is uh, DFS depth first search with memoization, kind of similar to uh, dynamic programming. And the data structure and the key idea, we will have a matrix called uh, memoIJ, and it represents the maximum score difference of Alice and Bob uh, between the stones array IJ. And why the maximum score difference? That is because it's uh, Alice playing first. And Alice's goal is to maximum the score difference as big as possible. And then now let's look at the code. The first part of the code first is to generate the memo matrix and its size will be n times n. And n is the size of a stone's array. And here we have a sums array, which is the accumulated sum of the stone's array with a dummy zero attached to the front. And next, create uh, the DFS function, which will return an integer. And the base condition, if the left and right pointer overlapped, then we would return zero. And next, if we haven't calculated memo LR, then we will calculate the range sum using the sums array, and then update memo LR to the maximum of one of the subproblem, which is range sum minus stones L and minus DFS L plus one R, or range sum minus stones R minus DFS L R minus one. And then DFS function will return a uh, memo LR. And then run the DFS function and then return rest. Now let's see the code in action. And here we'll be looking at example one. And the stones array is 53142. And first is to generate the accumulated sums array and attach a dummy zero at the front. And at the beginning, it's Alice playing first. And the left and right pointer will point to the first and right last element in the stones array. And here calculate the range sum, which is the sum of the stones array between the left and right pointer. And it is 15 minus zero, which is 15. And now Alice have two choices. She can either pick uh, the first stone, the leftmost stone. So the score difference will be range sum minus uh, stones L, and then move the left pointer to the next element. 
and this will become the subproblem, which is DFS L plus 1 R. Or Alice can pick the rightmost uh, stone. So the score difference will be range sum minus stones R and then move right pointer to the next element. And the subproblem is DFS L R minus 1. And memo LR would be the maximum of the two. And then the DFS fun function will return memo LR at the end. And this will conclude the algorithm. Finally, let's review. So the main algorithm to solve this question is uh, DFS with memoization. In the data structure and key idea, we have a memo matrix, which is, represents the maximum score difference of Alice and Bob between the stones array IJ. And because Alice is playing first, so we want to uh, maximum the score difference as big as possible. And time complexity is big O of n squared because for every element in the stones array, you have to recurse into the subarray every time. And that will be all for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one.